Hello everybody. <coughs> well, it's raining hard out today. Very hard rain. You guys should hear it coming down on the greenhouse roof. So again, I need to do some transplanting. And uh, it's a good day to do it. Because I don't want to do anything outside today. It's wet. It's raining. It's cold. So... I'm going to show some more interesting things how to transplant my way and I'm sure you'll find this quite unique and, and fun to do and you don't have to do it and spend a lot of money. So here I go. First thing I did was um, I'm going to mix up some uh, uh, potted soil and what I do is I, I take a five gallon pail and I put some potty soil in it and I just dump some water in it like that. I always look at this thing. It looks like it, you put two eyes on and it looks like a, a, a face. Uh, I, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> and uh, then I mix it up. And now I have a good moist soil mix here. I mix it all through. So you, uh, you want to start out with a nice moist, not too wet, just right, you know. And there you go. Look at that. All mixed through. All set to fill up the containers. So make sure this stuff's out of the way. So today I'm planting a plants. I got a lot of them. That's my plan. I'm gonna have to try. I want to have a lot of eggplants. So once again, you don't have to buy these. These are out there. Just look around. People give them away. These containers. You might even be able to get them free from a greenhouse who's throwing them away. I've never had to buy these. Never. And they're uh, very low priced way of doing this so here's the platforms here look at that eggplants must have had eggplants in there last year all right so first thing I do is uh, fill these up let me get this out of the way I'm gonna throw two together here while wow, it's pouring out I'd rather have rain instead of all snow, but, you know, that's how I feel anyway. Okay, so, anyway, so I'm going to fill these up and just put laying these out. So, again, there's a broken one. I'm going to make two good ones out of one bad one. And I'll lay them out like this. See that? You don't have to even have a holder like this. You can do it this way if you want. Okay, and then we'll just lay out another one here. Like this. I'm going to make two of them show you on video here <clears throat> I heard the storm was coming so I did a lot of work outside yesterday so saved the greenhouse indoor work for today nice day to do it Okay, so then I'll fill up these containers with my soil mix. It's already pre-moistened.
I find that you pre moist I, I find that you pre moist the soil. It gives the plant root a chance to <clears throat> get immediate moisture. The soil is not dry when you're putting them in your transplants, and uh, it's not overwatered. It just helps the plant much better. And uh, just all around much easier for the plant to take root. So we'll just fill these up. Go right down the line. So, again, uh, as I said in past videos, <clears throat> I'm not a big greenhouse. I'm just an individual <clears throat> that does gardening, large garden. I have a large garden, small farm, whatever you want to call it. So I don't need... Oh, uh, big equipment like the greenhouse, big larger greenhouses have. Although I'm not saying I wouldn't mind having that would be wonderful. But this is my way of doing it. It's the low cost way of doing it. And it gets the job done. It is a little it's time more kind time consuming than than uh, one of the big greenhouses, what they do. But I'm not a big greenhouse, like I said. And I want to show everybody a neat way of transplanting your seedlings. Because a lot of people who are out there are just like me. You're doing this because you want to have your own homegrown vegetables. But you don't want to spend a lot of money, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. There's no need to. It's, this is the way to do it. So I call these videos low cost way to transplant and do your gardening. And if you're like me, I'm in northern New Jersey. You want to get a jump on the growing season. You have to do this. You, you, you can plant. You don't have. There isn't enough growing season time to trans to, to to grow the stuff direct seeded out in your yard. And, and in my area, there isn't. Okay, so we're all set here. Now, once again, I'm going to take a container like this. What I like to do is I'll uh, remove. These are plants here, they want to get out of here and they, they keep saying, help me get it, I want to get out, I want to spread my legs. I need more room. So you're going to have more room now. So I'm going to lay out some, like, notice how I dug my hand underneath the roots. Now I'm going to spread these out on this container here. Because they're very close together right now. And, uh. I'm going to start planting each one. Now, I I like to to give them a lot of room, but this containers here, they're room enough to grow two. Some of you may argue about that. You, greenhouses will never do this. Uh, you do, they'll have one in each container. Uh, uh, I have a lot, not, not a lot of room. So I'm putting two in each container. The container, the, the seed container, the, the container that I'm using here is large enough to support two plants. And uh, this is another low way, cost way of doing it. And they'll have enough room to grow. And uh, come springtime, I'll split them apart again and I'll put them out in, in, outside in the ground. And the roots would be won't get harmed this way. 
and uh, they'll be a happy plant. Notice how I stick my finger, put my finger and make a hole in there and then I press the soil around. That's easy way of doing it. See that? See that now if you don't if these seedlings need to come out, they're too close in this in here now, so uh it's time to they come out. And I'll lay them out. I'll try to go for some bigger ones here and get them going first. They need to come out. Again, I'm, right now here, I'm planting eight plants. This is uh, a... <clears throat> Oop, doing two at once here. And uh, I want to grow, try to grow a lot of eggplants this year. It's my goal. Each year I try to, to uh, grow something, a, a lot of something. And see if I can do it with my eggplants this year. And I'm trying to get a real good jump on, on these this year. Last year I started planting them now. Yeah, that's you, you can do that now. But I want to get a real good start. So I planted these in the beginning of February. So they're this big already. And, and hopefully that will get me a jump on my growing season. So I can get lots of beautiful eggplants. I'm hoping. And you can too. See now look at that, how big they are. Isn't that nice? They, they got really getting a jump on this this year so I'm a type of person uh, and a lot of you argue but I'm totally GMO free I don't grow anything to, that that is GMO <clears throat> I don't use pesticides uh, uh, everything is grown and <clears throat> with care so you got to watch what you're buying out there these days there's a you hear it see on on the news a lot of a lot of uh things going on with the all that uh pesticides uses and everything like that on our foods so uh you want to get away from that Grow your own. You don't, again, I can mention, you don't need a lot of room. If you if you are, live in an apartment or a small area, you don't have a lot of room, plant it in a container. You'd be surprised what you can grow in a container. And if you have a little room, give up some of that lawn space you had that out there and uh <clears throat> dedicate a little area to the vegetable garden you'll be surprised what you can get out of a little area and it uh it's nothing like homegrown vegetables fruits oh well i'll tell you once you <clears throat> Once you get into that and try it, you, you're going to want to grow more and more. I, I believe me. I know you will. I, 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 I know what it's like. So, again, I, I take plant, I split them apart like this, and put my finger in the, in the soil, make a hole in the soil like that. And I put the plant in and, and squeeze the soil around a, the plant. Like so. And they'll take... <clears throat> they, these plants have nice secondary leaves on. And what I'm talking about about secondary leaves, they've got to have at least three leaves on to transplant. Now, uh, that's my my goal for transplanting but uh, a lot of some of the things i didn't wait for that and and you, you just gotta 
see how the plants are. They have enough root, you can do it. But the, uh, the theory is wait till they have at least three leaves on. And, the, and if you have three leaves on, it should have enough root to trans retransplant into another container. I always plant more than I need. So uh, if any of them <clears throat> don't make it, I'll have more plants to, to, to back me up. I like to go to the big ones that are in here right now. <clears throat> Look at that. The happy, happy plants going into a bigger container now. If they're happy, they'll make you happy. Because you'll get something out of them. This one don't look too good, but I'll stand that up. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice root system on that one. So I'll just continue to keep filling these containers with all my eggplants. Okay. And uh, these will grow really nice. This should take pretty well, pretty good here. Look at that, isn't that nice? I'm just going for the big ones right now in here. And then I'll go for the smaller ones later on. I've just got these big ones I want to get out most of today out of here because they're they're new they're looking for room to grow they want more room here so uh large greenhouses won't do it this way and, and you, you can see why it is time consuming they have machinery that does a lot of this uh makes it easier one of the machines that I, I love to see and, and wish I had was the uh, vacuum seeder system <clears throat> where they put the seeds on a template and they start uh, a vacuum and it sucks the seeds in onto a little hole on their template and then they flip the template over onto a soil flat and uh, they don't have to do this transplanting work then it's all coming up from seed that all individually in the right spot and uh, they save a lot of time from that doing that way and like I said I would love to have one of those machines just think but that uh, I don't have the, the money to support something like that. I'm just an individual, just like many of you out there, and uh, looking for ways to, to do your a better way to do your gardening. And this is how I do it. And it's a low-cost way, and it's not a hard way to do it. And you get a lot out of this. So, there's a lot to do here. It takes time, but doesn't cost a lot of money. So, uh... Because it takes time, <clears throat> this is greenhouses, big greenhouses don't do it this way. They, they just 
I just wouldn't be uh, trying to do it that way. They even have, I just noticed they even have soil fillers, machinery that fills their, their soil uh, flats up. And uh, they just pack them up. So if you're growing your own seeds like this, you always have to make sure that you have an even temperature when you first germinate your seeds. You don't want to have a cold soil. So grow them indoors in your house. Put some uh, plastic over your, your seed uh, flats containers. And let them do their thing. Keep them evenly moist. You don't want them to dry out. That's why you, the best thing to do is to take some plastic and just put it over your seedlings. You don't have to worry about it drying out. So I got a lot here that came up. And uh hate to waste all these, you know, so this is uh, they're all going to come out and then once your seeds start to germinate, let them get at least three leaves or more on before you retransplant them into another container like I'm doing here now this is <coughs> second stage of of uh, transplanting like this and uh, the next next step would be that they're going to go outside when the weather is nice out and that won't happen till probably the mid or end of May in my area, the, the uh, theory is after Mother's Day, we usually don't get frost anymore. Last year, I lost half my blueberry crop to frost on a late... All right, so uh, the battery wore out. Let me just get this back on again. I had the camera on with a camera strap on my forehead. Okay, so anyway, I got a little sidetracked what I was talking about, but anyway, um, so transplanting. So I'm putting two in each container. And that takes up less room. Like that. And I got a lot. A lot of plants here. I'm trying to grab the big ones out of here so they can get spread out more. It's nice to do this in a you know a rainy day outside. Yeah, yeah. If you're indoors, you know, just do it. Do it, relax out. You don't need a lot of room. And uh, you get a lot done. See, now I almost got two flats planted here of, of eggplants. And uh, this is the low cost way of doing it, everybody. You don't need a lot of money to do this. It's really a great way to do it, I find. This works for me. So I just want to show everybody, if it works for me, it should work for you. It's always worked for me doing it this way.
Weather-wise outside, you can hear it raining hard out on the greenhouse roof. Not a day to work outside, and I don't need to do that. Cold and rainy. In the upper 30s, any colder it'd be snowing. Hope it don't snow. So, and if you uh, can't find any of these containers like I'm using, don't forget you can use these cups. Now look at that. You got a whole greenhouse filled with plastic cups, and these cups you can find in, in uh, any local store that sells. You know, cups like this, I mean, dollar store, you can go to Walmart, uh, Target, uh, whatever's near you, you can get a whole pack of those cups for really cheap. And uh, uh, you can plant your plants right in those cups. So I just want to show you that you don't need a container like I'm, I'm using here if you can't find any. Just go for the plastic cup idea. It works great. And you get a lot transplanted in, in plastic cups. And what's nice about them, there's a couple of nice things about the plastic cups, is they're recyclable. So if you don't want to keep them, you just throw them in your recycle. They'll, they'll be recycled. It's plastic cups that are recyclable or uh, do it like I do if you don't break them when you take the plane out you reuse them and you'll have cups again for next year and then you don't even have to buy any cups for your next year's planting because you already have a whole stack of cups to plant in I have some of these cups here are probably three years old So I'm just saying, I'm not a cheapskate, <clears throat> but I always look for low budget, low cost ways to, to do my gardening transplanting here. And uh, <clears throat> this is how it works for me. And if it works for me, it, it should work for everybody out there, mostly. There's some other, better, probably uh, better ideas out there. And, uh, Sure, somebody will argue with me about it, that there are better ideas. But, hey, you know what? I'm showing you how it works for me. And uh, it's a fun, cheap way to do it. I shouldn't say cheap. I, I never should say cheap. Low-cost way to do it. Your seed transplant. So what I'm doing here, this is called seed trans seeding seed leech seed uh, seedlings transplanting my seedlings in another container transplanting seedlings in another container because they're too big now and the container that they are, are in they need to come out and spread their their roots because they're too close together in here and they they won't they won't mature big enough <clears throat> if they're too root bound like that. So this is the next stage that I do after I planted the seeds, and uh, these will grow nice. And uh, I'll show you what the plants look like when. They're big enough to put out into the garden. I had a large garden outside here. And uh, uh, I'll show you how big the plants are, are going to be when I transplant them this spring. And uh, 
They give you some nice ideas out there, everybody. So, uh, there you go. And, of course, always label your plants so you know what they are. There you go. And there you have it. Now, I got that much done. I'm going to plant some more. And the, uh, they'll, uh, they'll take really nice... All right, buddy, so that's, this is my video I call, again, low-cost way of transplanting your seedlings from uh, <clears throat> a seed container to a larger container. You don't have to plant two in each container. You can plant one. I do two to so take up less room. And uh, if you don't have these containers, go for the cups. And look at the kind of colors. It's just, it's just amazing, funny, color, all these colors here. Look at that. All those colors. And uh, the, the, these, these are getting bigger and bigger out here now. They really look good. And uh, I'm in my greenhouse. My greenhouse, by the way, in case you're ever wondering, it's a 10 by 10. I made this greenhouse myself. I bent the pipes. And... Uh, uh, the door is a recycled door. Somebody gave the door to me. So, uh, I, sh I wish I had videoed it when I made this. Uh, uh, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't doing YouTube back then. I built this in the year 2000. So, that's my video for today. Transplanting eggplants. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's raining hard out i'm going to be continuing to do more today and uh probably spend another hour out here transplanting the rest of them so i hope you like this video and, uh, and enjoy your gardening and uh you you can do this without a lot of spend a lot of money and it's it's a great hobby and you get a, a lot out of it you can call it a hobby, you can call it your gardening, or you can call it your farming, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's, it's, it's a, 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 a way to get your own delicious homegrown vegetables and your own food. All right, bye. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to say it again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps me grow this channel, and I, I, I'm going to do a lot more interesting things as time comes around. I've been doing this channel now for uh, a little while, and I uh, uh, appreciate it. You hit that subscribe button, like, and share. Have any comments, let me know. Love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions or any ideas, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, stop by again. Okay, everybody. Bye for now. Stop by again.